is number 13. Okay, so all of you, we are moving this way, please. So let's continue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why? You just passed them out. I know. We have to ask for one. Oh, you want to do a Oh, no, here's a trash can over here. It's a trash can over here. with the family and this is the entrance to the mill dungeon like a basement and there were thousand enslaved Africans at the time here men all men and as you go in there after the two steps no steps again it's just a gentle slope to so try to be in the middle so we are going all right those who have flashlight please uh, take out the flashlight yeah, so we can all see it's not light enough. Like I said earlier, family, the journey for a lifetime is your experience with us. We do not mix our groups and we do not allow White Devil on tour with us. We want this journey to be about you, and about us, and join our reconnection. Family. This is the dungeon, dungeon, actual part of this Cape Coast fortress. Get him, Errol. Tell me we are underground. And we prepared for an intense presentation. Fellow Africans, we are in the dungeons where they kept the enslaved Africans. Thousand people from this end through to the last end. We shall walk through all. But they divided the dungeons into five. So this is one. And one had 200 people. So 200 innocent men were here. This light was not here. That was why I switched off the light, so that I can have a feel of the original situation. So the three hosts you see there serve as their only source of light and air for 200 Africans. So some became blind. Some of them became blind. Now, these are the original bricks, this original floor. These bricks were brought at that time to balance European ships to Africa. So when we were going, these Africans had balanced away. And at that time, there was nothing like toilet facility. There was no urinal. There was nothing like bed or mattress to, to sleep on. Mm -hmm. So they were just here. And they would go to the toilet on themselves. Mm -hmm. They would urinate. Mm -hmm. Others would vomit. And they were here for three months. These trenches were constructed as their urinal. Now when they urinate, the urinal would pass through into the sea. But it's got to a time 
that some of the Africans started fighting the British. They wanted freedom. Some of those people were put in a condemned cell when we visited them. But because there were many, they could not kill all of them at a time. So the rest were brought from the other side to this place. And at that time, they, they created a door here. So they called this room a strong chamber. So British were not coming to clean the solid waste. So the waste started piling. It started from one level to the other to the other. It got to a time that the original bricks was completely covered. The waste came up like the slack like cake, and they were inside. So I want us to see something. So those around here, can you move to the middle bit so that we can see? I want the world to be free. So those here, move this way. But if you look on the wall, you can see these white lines. Mm -hmm. This one is. Mm -hmm. Because they stopped cleaning the dungeons, the waste rose to this height. Mm -hmm. Go to the bottom of the mountains. They reached the height like this. The bricks was covered. But 1974, University of Ghana Archaeological Department came to do excavation here before they found the original bricks. That was when they might be born, 1974. So many people died. The who died were not buried. They tied stone onto their waist, then they threw them into the sea. They eat once in a day, sometimes twice, just to keep them alive. But they left a portion of the solid waste, and that one is still in the dungeon. So we are going to see. So let's turn our attention to the side. But come back a bit, move back a bit. Go back a bit, let me see. Can you move a bit back? With the help of the light, Look at this place. You can't see the bricks here. Mm -hmm. You can see the bricks around. This is waste. Mm -hmm. This is how the floor was like before 1974, when the scavenge was done. So then they removed all the waste here, and they left this one mm -hmm. for generations yet unborn mm -hmm. to come and see. This one was tested, and it proved that it had turned it urine, blood, and other things. Mm -hmm. So what we are seeing now is human waste. Mm -hmm. But because it's been a long time, it has changed. No, I cannot, I'm not sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know so this is African waste. Shall we move this one, please? Mm -hmm. Be careful at the entrance, as you move, be careful at the entrance. Watch your steps, watch your steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 